Carl Wilhelm Scheele, the most unlucky scientist. Scheele discovered various elements in chemistry but didn't receive credit for most of them. A Swedish scientist was busy working in his lab. All of a sudden, he fell to the ground. His colleagues were unaware of what might have killed him. It was his invention that killed him. The scientist Carl Scheele should have received the credit of being the human being who found the most elements in the periodic table. Unfortunately, many of us don't even know his name. Puzzled Chemistry Chemistry was the backbone of the Industrial Revolution. Still, it lacked a formal organization to run it for a long time. Geology, physics, and mathematics had a specialized organization to monitor and inform the latest developments in their respective fields. In the world of the Industrial Age, chemistry was considered a blue-color job by Victorians. Chemistry took a back seat, and many chemists across the globe were reinventing the wheel. Henning Brand was one such scientist. Brand believed that human urine had gold in it. Probably, he made this decision due to its color. He collected urine samples in liters and dried them into a paste, but he didn't get gold. But he got an element that glowed in the dark and ignited when it came in contact with air. It was phosphorus, bringer of light, which was more expensive than gold at that time. Brand needed more urine to generate phosphorus. Prussian military volunteered soldiers to collect urine, and it turned out to be an expensive extract. The expensive extraction of phosphorus is where Carl Wilhelm Scheele came into the picture. Carl Scheele Carl Scheele was a Swedish scientist who had a nag for finding new elements. Scheele saw an efficient way to extract phosphorus. Scheele was called a guy with a hard luck by Isaac Asimov. Carl Scheele was born in Sweden but preferred to speak German. He started his career as a pharmacist and experimented with various chemicals. His important discovery was oxygen. He wrote a paper on it and sent it for publication to Sweden's Royal Society in 1772. Unfortunately, due to delays it was published in 1774 together with Joseph Priestley's claim of finding oxygen. Scheele found chlorine years before Humphrey Davy discovered it in America. Scheele got credit for the discovery of chlorine, fluorine, manganese, tungsten, barium, aluminium, nitrogen, and oxygen. He also extracted ammonia, glycerin. Scheele was the first to identify the bleaching property of chlorine, and its commercial usage. Scheele didn't receive credit for any of his discoveries. Scheele had a strange habit of tasting his inventions, some of which were deadly toxic. The toxicity led to his untimely demise at the age of 32. He got his recognition a long time after his death. He indeed was an unlucky man.